Well, coach, um, you got the win at home. How does it feel? Yeah, no, it's been a big week for us. We're, we're delighted. I mean, you could see in the second half we were tired, especially with uh, the shift we put in on Wednesday night in a tough place to play with, obviously, the humidity. Um, but no, I'm, I'm proud of them. I, I felt we defended well today. Um, and the, look, we knew we needed to come away with a win today, otherwise we was in a bit of trouble. So it's a pleasing win. Um, and it's another clean sheet, which is another positive, And we can build from that and, and obviously move forward. But... You know, they're going to need a little bit of time now to, to chill out and uh, get themselves rested and recovered. How do you feel about Midge? In the Houston game, it looked like she you know, was struggling a little bit to find some teammates. She wasn't releasing soon enough, but yeah. in this game, she looks a little more... Um... <sighs> yeah. yeah you know, it's, it's like anything. Obviously, when the girls come out of college, you know, we, we, we give them a lot of tactical information and we work on a lot of tactical stuff in training. Um, and once Midge starts to click for her in seeing these passes sooner, especially with her pace, and we said this at half time to the group that we're we're driving into players and we can give it and then receive it back in the space, and we've got we've got, got to do a better job of that. But I thought she she done well with that today. You know, she was getting getting her head up. She was looking for the passes. Um, you know, we went through one or two clips with not just her but the team, and there was a couple where she could have threaded Tash through early doors in in the game at Houston, but but didn't see it. But Midge is going to be, be a great talent and um, it's going to take her time, like anyone, just to adjust to this level um, and the speed of play. Were you satisfied that the ball movement was a lot better this game over Houston? Um, well, look, first half, we just wanted to be in Houston. We wanted to be compact. We didn't want to concede early. It was, it, you know, The game plan was just to sit off them. Um, and then we changed it in the second half and I thought we was excellent. Uh, you know, look, We still need to do better with, with, the, with our possession and our passing especially like the first five, ten minutes, but that comes with confidence and we could take the confidence of a point on the road, even though it should have been three, um, and the three points today. Mm -hmm. Coach, you picked up Katie Stengel from this team yeah. uh, midweek. Uh, hard not to like a player like that just coming free. Um, how do you plan to use her? Yeah, yeah no, but I mean, we couldn't believe it when she was, um, when she was waived, uh, especially the, the talent that she has. Um, and, and we wanted to make it happen. Look, we haven't scored enough goals just of late, and um, Katie would give me another option. It provides me with another option in the nine to provide Natasha Dowry with competition. And I thought, you know, Natasha was excellent today. Um, so no, it's just just a player that you can't, you know, give up, especially with with us being in the position where we, um, if, if we claimed the rights, we would have we would have got it because of where we finished last year. So, you know. It's, it's a, not just a short-term thing, it's a long-term thing that we're looking at. So we're, we're delighted that she's here. How are you feeling with Morgan Andrews? Uh, what's the word? Where you move her? Where you get better over time? What's